over in New Mexico, the Las Cruces City Council voted four to three to pass two new public safety laws. Well, this is this as a way to tackle ongoing issues that law enforcement and business owners are dealing with regarding the unhoused communities and panhandling. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Oriana Botado brings us more. Both of these ordinances are targeting people experiencing poverty and many of them homelessness as well. And I think they are the ones that stand to be impacted the most. They are the ones that I also had not seen at the table in discussing the ordinances and the impact that they might have on them. Nicole Martinez, the executive director for the Mesilla Valley Community of Hope, has been working with the unhoused community for 18 years. She says the two ordinances that were passed will not help improve public safety. If anything, they will make things worse. So it's going to just really impact things in terms of how people are carrying things, but it's not going to stop small business windows from being broken. Uh, it's not related to that part of crime that was the big outcry. Instead, this is a surface level ordinance to make it seem like something's being done. And the only thing that's being done is targeting people who have the least resources. One of the ordinances makes panhandling or soliciting money on medians illegal with a violation of up to $500 or 90 days in jail. We're trying to keep the pedestrians safe as well as our drivers. Many drivers, you're out there on the streets, you're there today with new technology in our vehicles, we're so busy inside that vehicle that it becomes, you know, a problem. The other ordinance passed bans shopping carts outside of shopping centers and requires businesses to keep carts on their property and submit plans to prevent cart theft. We're trying to make sure that we can clean up the city and, you know, make it where it's easier, it's better, and we want individuals to take part of their city and, and uh, you know, where they feel safe as well as it's a clean city. Martinez says there are other ways to address this public safety issue, one of them being their hand by hand neighbor pro labor program, I should say, where crews respond to areas with abandoned shopping carts, helping not only the unhoused communities, but also businesses.